Hey y'all, welcome to my first YouTube video ever. My name is Ashley and this is interior.break. In today's video, I'm gonna be turning my candy bar that I had during the holidays into my coffee bar. I am a coffee lover, so I'm like, why not turn an area in my kitchen into a coffee station? So my plan for this space is to add a shelf that I can put all of my coffee supplies on. But the problem is the way my kitchen is set up, between my backsplash and my cupboard, I have no empty wall space so that the shelf can actually hold up on the wall. So we need the shelf to hold up on its own. And in order to do that, we're gonna head to Home Depot. I'm gonna find a piece of wood that I can turn into a shelf. I'm gonna cut it to size. We're gonna add some legs on it and then we're gonna go from there. So this is the candy bar that I had over the holidays. It's the area we're going to be turning into my coffee bar, coffee station. But first, we're going to have to head to Home Depot. So here are some pieces that Joanna cut out for me that are going to act as my legs. All I'm doing is gluing them on. You can honestly screw them if you want to. And then I'm repeating the same thing on the other side. At this moment, this is when I knew I messed up. Oh my God, I didn't think this through. I did not think this through. Oh! So the coffee machine didn't fit on top or below the shelf and things are about to get very messy guys, but I promise you the end results are amazing. So we messed up. Um, we're gonna do another cut. Shout out to Joanna and my dog. She knows she shouldn't be in here. So I'm not gonna lie, I was so pissed off when this happened. I'm sure you guys can hear it in my voice in the video, but I was so mad because I know better to measure twice before cutting and unfortunately I did not do it and it sucks even more because this is all on camera. So my partner who is Joanna, she was like, I can fix this. I got this all figured out and I was like, okay, perfect. I let her fix it and this is what it looked like. Now, let me know in the comments if you can already figure out what the second problem is. <laughs> so if you look really closely, it was slanted. And the funny thing about this is that I knew it was slanted. Let's roll the clip. <laughs> Yeah, so I knew it was crooked and I don't know why, once again, I did not double check, but turns out it was crooked, but it was nothing that Joanna couldn't fix. So she went ahead and she fixed it again. So I could have easily cut this out and just showed you guys the final results, but I wanted to show you guys that you're gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna make mistakes, we all make mistakes. There's always a way to fix it and to make it better. It was all worth it because you're about to see the end results. So I forgot to mention that I added some hooks so that I can put my mugs on display. And now you guys can finally watch me style my coffee bar. Thank you. 
final results. Let me know, do you guys like the way it turned out? I'm actually really happy how it turned out, especially after all the problems that we went through. It wasn't my initial thought of how I thought it was gonna come out, but it did turn out pretty aesthetically pleasing and that's what matters to me. So I'm happy and it is functional. So if you guys like videos like this, please subscribe, like, and comment and don't forget to add me on instagram at interior.break i'll see you guys in my next video